Hello and welcome guys, I'm Keelan and today we're checking out Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed <laughs> by Black Forest Games. Um, I didn't play the first game so when I saw this come out I thought I've got to give this a try. And we haven't played a sci-fi game in forever so I thought we'd check it out. We're going to try on Vetra and see how we go. Um, apparently it's a shooter but there's of course going to be some destruction I believe. Humans of planet Earth be advised. Visual experience has been upgraded. The content and historical record of the original invasion of the Furans remains blah blah blah. Ooh, looks gruesome. I mean, it says destroy all humans, but wow. Looks like it gets pretty graphic. Uh, the, the detail on the aliens is actually a bit scary. Uh, I, was like, I was like, whoa. Premier Comrade Mielakov, Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. Their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous. Unpredictable. Now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, Connor, is that neurons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? Uh. <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure furon DNA harvested from human brains by Orthopox 30, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation referred to only as the package. Ooh. These Ooh. aliens <laughs> pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be destroyed. Very cool. So we got the plot. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Only one way to deal with such a Revolution! Uh-oh. That can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Fioran. I expect you to die. Mine's big. I must be weak. Whoa. Alright, we get thrown in right, right away. Looks like the, uh... What are those things? They send more agents? They're useless. Okay, it's... Turn back now, okay. What are those things? Is that like what's left of the spaceship, I guess? Kill the KGB agents, right. Why didn't they send like a bunch of us at once? Oh, hello. Oh, that was simple. Oh, what's this red border thing? Look at this. It's like out of bounds, guys. Oh, the agents are over here, okay. <laughs> we can like mind control. I think. Oh. Oh. 
Beautiful. Put the board up. I don't know what that was, but that was interesting. We can also pick them up and throw them. This is fun. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try again. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, we could launch them. That's awesome. Uh, Come in, Crypto! Are you receiving? The mothership has been destroyed! You must come to my aid immediately! Follow the distress beacon to my location! That's nice. Crypto, we can just generally, like, destroy them. I'm trying to fricassee my motherboard! Hurry up! We can throw them at each other. That's cool. Ooh. Pick up the marked human objects and drop them. Yeah, I've already been doing that. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Bits. Bits we can throw. Nice. Psychokinesis. Oh, we can, like, smack them multiple times. Can we do, like, a, how far can we throw it? Quite far. Oh. Our friend is here. At least a projection of it. What the... <laughs> That's gonna cost some money to fix. He threw a hologram of his friend. Virtual pox, huh? <laughs> Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> so he's a mobile hologram. Uh, that makes sense. So he's got a—he's got somewhat of a physical body. He's got to protect. Pest room for heavy weapons. Okay. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some? I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Yeah, so, so this is going to be like a solo mission, I guess, maybe, for now. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. <laughs> Give a lame excuse for not bringing guns. What's a data core? <laughs> you never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. Oh, is that they were triangle? I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble. Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. <laughs> well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. I wonder what voice actor that is. I recognize that voice from somewhere. I do like the um 
Or what would you call this? Yeah, telekinesis kind of powers. It was highly enjoyable. Um. Oh. Can we fly? We can't really fly, but we can we can kind of shoot along. Oh, we can fly, kind of, almost. Oh. Mm. Mm. Looks like we get points for trashing cars. Um. I mean, we have a jetpack, but it, it it won't let us fly yet. Hopefully soon. There we go. Nice. Nice. Now we got a jetpack. Ooh, we're going down. So it has a limited life, I guess. What's Z do? I'm just working out what all the skills do. Ooh, there's multiples up here. What's this? Ah, oh, many agents. I'm thinking about this gun. What does this do exactly? Looks like we completed the mission. Nice. That's the first mission. For unloading in Bay City. Good. Got seven cells. Fewer tech cells. Okay, so we need some more cells next time. Discover and destroy the KGB. Use the dislocator to destroy KGB. Ah, right. We could use the dislocator to destroy the cars. I didn't see that. Oops. Oh well. I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Ah, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pleh! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> so it seems like the Ruskies are the bad guys in this one, kind of. I don't think there is any bad guys, but uh, they certainly... I didn't like what that guy had to say. <laughs> it's like... Seemed to not have the people's best interests at heart. Let's see what's next. We have Jeez, all the flower children gone. My head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. <laughs> That's we need the to truth. find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. <laughs> Only hippies can buy. Okay. Let's uh, snatch this chick. Huh? There we go. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. 
freak, in all your drug-induced visions, I'm sure you've gained much, uh, wisdom. Hey, I'm just trying to find me Camino, man. No different from you. But I've fried my share of brain cells, that's for sure. Super. Which is why I seek your, uh, well, for lack of a better word, let's, uh, call it guidance. Right on, Seeker! What can I do you for? <laughs> uh, got any tips for dealing with the ladies? Patience, love, mutual respect. Those are the ways to earn a woman's heart. Are you serious? You sound like Gloria freaking Steinem. Whoa, now, I'm a liberated man. What's with the heavy vibe, mama? What? Oh, oh, crap. I forgot I'm a chick. <laughs> You're born. Well, what I need trace. is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to, uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. <laughs> Which is pretty righteous. <laughs> Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bong Water? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your it. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. <laughs> I love that name. It's just freaking hilarious. What's Revelade? What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness. Oh, dude. Bong Water says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like, the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. <laughs> Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bong Water. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> uh, I, I, I do like the heavy stuff. It's always fun video games where they got hippies running around doing stuff. I wonder if this is set during the 70s. Um, but yeah, it must be because the cars. Cars are dead giveaway at the 70s. But yeah, I love the way you can, like, just hijack anybody. That's pretty cool. Uh, that must have been the first game, but I had no idea. So, yeah, there's a this, um, bunch of skills we can use now. We got uh, read your mind. We got, like, possess. We got, like, steal brains, whatever that does. I'm not sure what that does, but uh, it seems to matter. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, I just love the environments in this game. It's really, really pretty. Very colorful, nice and vibrant. It's just, yeah, this is a really cool setting for the game. Uh, the sound effects are excellent. Very satisfying. The weapons are satisfying. I'm sure they're going to throw very, very crazy alien weapons at us. Um, what happens if we just walk around normally? I presume we get in trouble if we do that. Um... Yeah, we, we keep the, we keep that and just take the brain, whatever it is. Yeah, it's like actually taking the brain out. Cortex. So if we, if I think as long as we avoid the cops, Jump we're fine, right? Me, Jerry. Hello. Um, hey. Oh my God. Yeah, slightly oh God. freaked out. Okay, so they. 
they do freak out quite a lot. But can't we just, um, yeah, we can't fly for long, that's the trouble. Oh, we're at the edge of the map. I gotta say, the edge of the map is, uh, not great. <laughs> I wish there wasn't so many edges to this game. It needs to be a bit more open world. Looks like we've been rumbled. Somewhat. But uh, with the jetpack and stuff, we can just run away. Pretty easy to run away from the cops and stuff. It's not really an issue. It's probably a good thing. Like, if you don't want to, like, possess and do the sneaky way, you could just, like, quickly go through and avoid trouble. Pretty easy. So I, I like that. I like this all many different ways of playing. It's not just stealth. You, you could just, like, fly through and nobody's going to bother you. Like, see, they're looking for me there, but I can just get away easy enough. This is like a new area. But yeah, that's like endless fun. Even if they do find you, you just like throw stuff at them. Like, there's a bunch of them after me here. It's like, hello! <laughs> they're not really, especially the telekinesis power. It makes cops pretty much useless. Oh, but there's someone in back alert. Someone lost a backup. <laughs> I wonder if you like, if you summon too many, too many cops, it's probably gonna end badly. <laughs> this is probably gonna keep ramping up like GTA. Is there more and more of them coming? Yeah, probably. Probably not a good idea to to keep fighting with the cops. I need to get up on the roofs. Must be a way of getting on the rooftops again. There we go. It's like on the. This is how you escape in most games. You just go on the rooftops and the cops don't know what to do. I wonder if they can get up here. Probably not. Yeah, it looks like they can't get up, so that's fine. Then you just fly from rooftop to rooftop to get away. Easy. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. I think I've seen enough of this game. It's like really awesome. I think I'm gonna play a bit more of this game. I would say it uh, seems to be fairly linear, you know, like it's going to be the missions and then uh, I guess you could always go on rampages and stuff. I'm sure that'll be fun for a while, um, you know, but that's going to entertain for so long. Um, yeah, I would say if you're a fan of the first game, do pick this up. I don't know how many missions there are. Hopefully there's lots of missions because, um, you know, there, there's going to be not much replayability factor, I think. Once you've done the missions, once you've rampaged a few times, I think you'll have your fill of this game. Um, as I'm, I'm, I'm aware that it's only thirty nine ninety nine at least here. That's an okay price for this game. I feel. I mean, it's not certainly not a triple A price. So for what you get for the price, it's pretty good, I think. Um, but you know, if you're not sure, maybe wait for for the sale on this one. But, uh, you know, if you want to support games like this, if you really love alien games where you get to play as the alien, that, that are very rare indeed. I mean, I can't think of many at all where you get to play as the alien and do cool stuff and have, you know, super alien powers and stuff. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this is worth investing in and supporting this developer, Black Forest Games. Um, they certainly seem to have created a polished product. I haven't noticed any bugs, so that's really cool. Um, everything's been pretty smooth. I noticed a couple of frame rate drops, so nothing to speak about really. It's like, it's been pretty smooth sailing. I'm very impressed with this game. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think about the game down below, guys. If you feel inclined, do leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the game. Are you going to pick this game up? This is your kind of game. But yeah, I just thought it was about time I covered a sci-fi game for a change. I've been covering, like, you know, all kinds of stuff. City builders lately. I love city builders, but yeah. I thought it's time to check out a sci-fi game for a change or an alien game. And uh, I do enjoy these games. I really enjoy these games, especially with destructions involved. That's always fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please leave me a like if you liked the video. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching.